right now at this moment I have the privilege of actually receiving a lot of questions, a lot of problems that people are facing and many of them end up sending it to me on Instagram, on email and many times these are not like standard like study abroad problems or something. I want to study in Germany like you know what should I do and so on. For that I have already made a lot of videos but at other times you also receive questions which are a little bit more difficult to answer and that's exactly what I will try to do in this video because there was one question I received which was actually very important and something which might get related to many other people in some difficult situations too. One student writes, whose name we have uh, blurred, Hey Bharat, saw your recent Insta Lives recording. Yes, changing surroundings impact a lot. I felt the same when I went to the office after doing work from home for two years. I consider you my big brother and want to take your advice on how should I change my current surroundings. I live with my parents. My father drinks a lot at a stage where his liver can fail soon. I have a decent job here in India, earning somewhat 10.5 lakhs per annum. But for my father, I think it might need 30 to 40 lakhs soon if you require a liver transplant. I'm living my days in anxiety and stress all the time. How will I arrange such a big corpus if it is required someday? Do you think I move out of home in this situation? So from what I was able to gather is like he's not really an older guy, like somewhere around like 24, uh, 23, 24 or something and at this stage having these kind of problems are absolutely horrible because at this stage you should still have the freedom that the youth gives you that you can just go anywhere you want explore new things and essentially do more than what your father has been able to do so far and this has been like a thing that you would see over and over again in the history wherever your parents take you the responsibility and the duty of the sons and the daughters is to actually take the next step forward to roll the ball down a little bit further so that you're a little bit better and you make the life a little bit better for your own children, for the society as a whole. So this is a very, very not a nice situation and I will give you some kind of background on how it was a similar situation for me and how I kind of like, you know, dealt with that. Again, um, I cannot complain about my parents at all. But like again, in the family, like you know, in the relatives and stuff, you will always have some kind of bad apples and it's with most of the families. So there was an instance where one of my relatives, like they were driving drunk and like they had, they were going at night on motorcycle with two, three other friends and stuff and they crashed from a bridge essentially and like kind of broke the entire leg and multiple other um, kind of impacts were there. So then another relative called to me essentially like you know why are you not meeting him because i was also in new delhi this person was also like nearby so why are you not going and meeting him because he's in the same city he's um, a close relative and so on why don't you do that and actually like, go, go and see and that was very disturbing to me because i have my time very carefully allocated at places which need my most attention and at that time when i was actually coming to new delhi to go for my gate coaching and stuff that i'm going to take out extra time now to meet somebody who was drunk going on his bike to somewhere and who was clearly like either aware or absolutely irresponsible of his consequences because he couldn't have just killed himself he could have killed some children he could have killed somebody else's children he could have killed so many other things so i don't have any kind of sympathy to that kind of situation at all and what happened was afterwards i of course said like you know i'm not going to meet this person and that relative essentially told me okay like then you're dead to us and i was like hmm, like interesting so i also don't speak to that person anymore and that's why like when i talk about my family i essentially just talk about my grandparents i talk about my parents that is pretty much it and everybody else like does not really matter to me anymore so these kind of things you know for example in this situation this person's father is drinking a lot of alcohol he completely is aware that his liver is fucked up because again he is writing that that liver can fail anytime and he's aware about the situation and he still does not stop doing that as fathers in general as men the responsibility is that you're making the life a little bit better for the people who are coming behind you and this is not really fatherlike and i know that this is a problem that many people face in india even though you wouldn't admit that like india does not have a problem with alcohol and stuff but there are some families who still struggle with that a lot i had a friend recently who was living in new delhi and his father was also drinking a lot 
but he essentially really changed things around for himself. He started his own business and at a very young age, I think he's just like 19 right now. And he was able to do so well in that, that now he has his own apartment and he moved to that apartment with his mother and he has essentially no contact whatsoever with his father anymore. So I really want you to distinguish between these two scenarios. One scenario where you are having somebody who is having a natural problem, some kind of issue that they can absolutely do nothing about. That's a completely different story. That's a day and night difference than to somebody who is screwing up their own life very consciously day in and day out and becoming a burden on somebody they shouldn't be a burden on. These are two very distinct things and like, you know, indulging in just drinking alcohol like crazy and making life difficult for your own children. It is one of them and it's a very shameful thing. I mean, don't tell me that it's like difficult to get out of like alcohol or cigarettes and things like that. Like when you really have the desire to do it, you can do it. We had people in the family who were able to get off that without any kind of major drama. So if you have the desire of doing it, if you have the motivation of doing it, if you want to make life easier for your children, then you're going to do that. And at the same time, if you're the son or daughter of somebody who is doing these kind of things, if they don't have this kind of consideration towards you, if they don't think that they want to make your life easier or they don't want to give you any kind of other problems or stress, why are you going to care about that person at all? For me, like this kind of like feeling of sympathy, this is also very calculated. I want to see if the person is not actively trying to screw you over. Because when your parents are indulging in these kind of discussions and these kind of habits, these are all wrong signals. Now, I think another like very interesting thing that I get is, all right, like, you know, if you don't um, help your parents, then you're going to also suffer from your children and things like that. The story of karma, right? So you do good to somebody and you will receive good. And I also think like this concept is also kind of very flawed. It's not like you will do good and you will get good. Never. You could do as much good as possible to somebody else, but there are still scenarios where your life is going to be absolutely screwed up because that's just how life is. Life is unfair. Life doesn't have any kind of rules to that, that you are going to do X and you will get Y. That rarely ever happens. I mean, most of the times, yes, you might get lucky, but other times it also doesn't happen. So I think this is also a very stupid way of thinking because again, these are not the people who are trying to make your life easier. So why should you ruin your own life? Why should you kill your own dreams and hopes and plans to do something for them? In this scenario, like the person who is asking like, how do I change the situation? I think the first best thing is going to be to always start by changing yourself. That's very important. You change your surroundings by changing yourself first, by getting into the mindset of essentially building up the skills which take you out of that place. So I think if this person can like, you know, uh, if you, whoever is like watching this video, if you can leave your home, move to another place and you can work from there, go to office from there and so on, that already puts you into a very uncomfortable situation because there's not your mother who is washing your clothes and your mother is not cooking your cooking your food or cleaning the dishes and so on everything you have to do on your own and when you kind of put yourself into these kind of uncomfortable situations this kind of discomfort you start realizing what kind of areas you have to improve in you start thinking about life a lot more seriously and this is a huge huge benefit for your long-term goals and whatever you want to achieve in your life so I think definitely start with that. And if you want to like, you know, think about coming to Germany or going abroad to any other country whatsoever, then it is also not a bad idea because once you go abroad, the money that you'll be able to make in one month will always be more money than what you'll be able to make in India in one month. So this kind of thing is also like doable and also to support your living costs and stuff. You can always do a part-time job on the side, things like that. And I think like in this kind of scenario, if there's any kind of, you know, heart, this liver transplant or something which is needed like very urgently, I'm pretty sure there are like places which would be able to provide loans for these kind of things too. And that also happens when you're abroad and also like from some of the uh, bank accounts, whatever you have in India itself. So they are also like, you know, supporting these kind of scenarios. So I don't know, I personally think like, you know, for people like these, 
you shouldn't ruin your life you shouldn't kill whatever dreams you have and they can be your parents and you know this is a stupid thing i find many times and that is like indians go all crazy absolutely insane when i say something about like you know you live your own life and you don't uh you shouldn't be bound down by whatever your parents wish for you because that's very important like you know they live their life you should be living your own life because only you will have to face the consequences of whatever actions you're taking right now not your parents not your children you so it's very important like when i tell you to like live your own life because not every parent is a good parent not every parent deserve to be a parent they are good parents they are bad parents and the people who make these arguments that all oh, you're saying these things about parents they have a very simplistic view about the world and that's rather just stupid so i think this is pretty much i wanted to say about this i think it's it's just very important if you're in a shit situation if you're in a bad surrounding that you leave that surrounding as soon as possible you go to a place where you have more discomfort where you can again start building up whatever you want to do because when you have discomfort you start changing things you start changing things if you're smart and once you change things you will be able to put yourself at a level from where you will be able to then shoot up from there this is all i wanted to say um if you have any kind of questions whatsoever leave it in the comments i will see you in the next video bye